Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have a pretty cool product on our hands. This is the MSI X460DX. Now there are a number of different models with this particular shell as it's called or housing or or look or feel or whatever the case may be but the model that I have here today is a pretty slick spec. So this uses a Core i5-2410M so nice high-end CPU. It's got a GeForce GT 540M GPU, which is pretty darn good for a 14 inch notebook. Speaking of 14 inches, it has an LED backlit, super slim display. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hold up my iPhone 4. You can see that's about half the thickness of an iPhone 4, pretty cool. And then also a slim overall build. Now, speaking of the overall build quality of it, you're going to appreciate about this particular model that it is built like a business notebook. It has, it has a bit of heft to it, so for a thin and light it's really not that light, but I will definitely forgive it that because it also feels very solid compared to similarly priced notebooks that are considered consumer models. So before we look too closely at the notebook itself, I want to show you guys the power brick because a lot of people do care about this, especially when they're trying to find a travel friendly model of notebooks. So it's a pretty average one. I'd say in terms of size, it's not like a netbook, but it's not like one of those brick notebooks either where, oh, actually I have one on the floor right now, where they tend to be about sort of like this size. So there it is compared to a gaming model notebook brick. And then compared to something like an iPhone 4, which is a good reference, I know I pull this out all the time, but there you go. There's the size comparison in terms of the thickness, and there's the size comparison in terms of the length and the width. It's actually almost exactly the same as the iPhone. The good news about this one is it's a 19 volt model that only sucks just under five amps, or outputs just under five amps. So you can get slim replacements for fairly inexpensive from companies like Antec. Now, next, we're going to show you guys in detail the notebook itself. Now, we've talked about the basic spec of the X460DX. It is available, as I mentioned, in a couple models. This one is with the GT540M, which I would personally prefer because, yes, a dedicated graphics card of any sort is still going to be better than onboard Intel graphics. However, the onboard Intel graphics version does support Wi-Di or wireless display. So that is kind of a cool thing depending on which model you opt for. They are both available depending on your region. So it's got the Core i5-2410M, great CPU, it's got the 14-inch LED backlit panel, 4 gigs RAM, all of that good stuff, but let's have a look at what it has in terms of basic I.O. as well. So on this one side we're gonna find a headphone jack, a microphone jack, an SD reader, a USB 2 port, and yes, an optical drive. So even though this is a slim notebook and the optical drive is about 80% of the overall thickness, it does still have one. We've also got a Kensington lock on the other side, or uh, at the very end of that side. And then on the other side, we find a power input, we find exhaust for the cooling fan that is cooling the CPU and the GPU or the CPU with the integrated GPU depending which spec you go for. HDMI and VGA out. That is one of the things that does make this more of a business model than a consumer model in spite of the price point. The fact that it still has VGA out which can be very very useful for presentations or basically for going anywhere with a projector where they don't have the latest equipment. We've also got our gigabit ethernet and two USB 3.0 ports so you can use the fastest external hard drives or USB thumb drives with this particular model with no problems. So I want to take a quick moment to spend some time on what MSI thinks is important about this particular notebook. So one of the things they think is a big deal is the eight hour battery life. So the battery pack is here, it's at the back. It adds to the thickness of the notebook a little bit, but not much. And since they have rubber pads all over the bottom of it, it doesn't affect the overall operation of it in any way, shape or form. So they're claiming about eight hours of battery life. It also has, this is kind of cool, a very, very flexible hinge. So the notebook comes out almost flat. So that means that you can very comfortably use it in almost a more tablet-like form factor. See, so you can kind of hold it like this. And you can be sort of holding it and typing on it or sitting on the couch and reading something. It seems like a small deal, but it does make a difference, especially when the notebook is light enough to actually sit and use it like that. 
Next, they've done some pretty element, element, elegant little design features, such as the integrated speaker bar. So it looks like a speaker bar, but to be perfectly honest with you, it's just two speakers that are covered by a nice little chrome accent and a mesh. So it is just stereo, it's not a fancy like speaker bar surround, but those little touches at least make the notebook look a little bit nicer. Now the keyboard, this isn't something they mentioned, but this is something I think is critical. The keyboard has a terrific layout. It has a wide tab, a wide left shift, full size space bar, nothing goofy with the space bar. On the other side, it has a wide backspace, wide enter, correctly positioned short shift. If the short shift was on the other side of the arrow key, I'd be all over it. Uh, well, not all over it, I would be very unhappy. And then the arrow keys are integrated close to the keyboard in a way that makes it fit the 14 inch form factor, but doesn't take away from any of the other buttons that are important. Touchpad, same thing, it's a good size, it's the correct shape, it's a 16 by 9 touchpad. To me that's a big deal because I find when I'm using a touchpad, it's very important to me to be able to have movement that is proportional and a size that is proportional to the screen. In terms of viewing angle, they say unparalleled viewing angle, I would say very good viewing angle because unparalleled is a very difficult thing to quantify, but it is excellent. It's a notebook that you're never going to have trouble with, whether you're looking at it from the far left or looking at it from the far right, in terms of a normal usage scenario with the viewing angle on it. So the last thing that I want to talk about with this particular notebook is also with respect to the build quality. MSI has gone with a very unique material that I'm starting to see a little bit more. And what it is, is it is a finish that looks an awful lot like brushed aluminum. So they've used it both on the palm rest here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so you can kind of see that. And they have also used it on the back of the notebook, which looks terrific, by the way. Let me just catch the angle there. There you can kind of see the transition between the light and the, and the not light. And what it is, is it is not aluminum. Personally, I hate brushed aluminum on the, on the palm rest as well as on the bottom or top of a notebook. And I will tell you why. The reason is that brushed aluminum is the least fingerprint resistant material in, on the face of the earth, I think. If you touch brushed aluminum, that is anodized and brushed typically, unless it's a very high quality finish, like something that you might find on an Apple product like the iPad 2, where it's anodized aluminum that doesn't retain fingerprints. If you touch it, the oils from your fingers, and yes, your hands are oily, everyone's hands are oily, whether they wash them or not. If you touch it, it'll actually etch into the aluminum. So if you take a brand new, say for example, aluminum computer case, you walk up to your side panel and you go, one, two, three, four, five fingerprints right on the side, and you walk away and you don't wipe them off right away, and you come back two months later, try and wipe them off, they're etched there forever. You can't remove them. So what's great about this plastic is that it looks and feels really good. I've got a couple fingerprints on it now, just from using the notebook during this episode, but it looks and feels great, but you can actually clean the thing down to pristine like new condition. So thanks for checking out our video of the 460DX from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more reviews, informational videos, and just general computer stuff from your favorite computer store, ncix.com. So I'm gonna show you guys something that'll make you say wow every time. This chamois can clean anything, even your laptop, unless your laptop uses an anodized brushed aluminum finish. Now, brushed aluminum finishes are one of my personal pet peeves because they look great in photos, they look awesome when they're new, but as soon as you touch it, as soon as you have a palm rest, so like the X460DX, this area I would consider the palm rest where you're resting your palm when you're typing. As soon as you have a palm rest that's made of brushed aluminum, and you can see this finish has a bit of a brushed look to it. Can you see that in the, in the, uh, in the screen okay over there? Yeah, you can, okay, good. So this finish has a bit of a brushed look. As soon as you put your palm on it, the oils from your fingers and your palms and your hands, and yes, everyone's hands have oils on them, are actually going to etch into the aluminum unless you keep it pristine and refuse to touch it all of the time. Now this is equally horrible when it's on the top casing of a notebook. Now see, just from doing this video showcasing this notebook, I have fingerprints here, I have fingerprints sort of over here, I have some fingerprints here, 
Uh, yeah, there's fingerprints on the back. Generally, that's my point. Now, if you take a brand new case and you, uh, let's say it's a brushed aluminum case and you go ahead and you touch all five fingers to the side panel and then you go away for two months and you come back and try and wash it off, it will not come off. Those fingerprints, you'll be able to see the pattern of your fingerprints there forever because it will etch into the aluminum. Now, very high quality anodized finishes will not have this problem, such as those on the iPad 2, although you'll still see it to a little bit. It's still very difficult to clean perfectly. These plastic lookalikes, besides being quite heavily built on this one, I did talk a lot about the build quality of this notebook, besides being heavily built, are much easier to clean. So I'm gonna show you a demo, which is why I pulled out the ShamWow, and that is I'm going to take this fingerprint, which would be impossible to remove from aluminum. Can you kind of see how ugly that is? I mean, you walk around with like a greasy, greasy looking notebook, and you know, it's kind of like slob style, right? But the reality of it is, no matter what you do, if you have an aluminum notebook, which many expensive ones are using that brushed aluminum uh, finishing for the body, no matter what you do with it, it's gonna look horrible forever. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna use the wet part of my chamois. And I know this is a lot of work and you're probably not gonna do it often, but the good news is that you actually can clean it. See, check that out. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. I hope you have enjoyed the X460DX from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite computer store, NCIX.